Hurrah! I won the die roll, and I get to open with six cards. Go me. Hmm. Double Pike. Uh, I will get the marksman. Right, I'm not running Osha, so I couldn't do the super amazing open combo, but I can still go with the turn one Bahamut Shark. Which in itself is pretty nice. Probably should have summoned this guy in defense. No way Dark Knight would have beaten it over. Anyway, turn one Bahamut Shark, that's always nice. Upstart, mm hmm. Yoku, aw, oh, it's Fire Fist. 3.5 axes. The marksman. Yeah, I know what I gotta do here. There goes the TT, that's nice. Golden Pitch Marksman to get. Uh, who would I get with, actually? Undyne actually sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that way I can put the title in the. I mean, I can actually put. Yeah, I can put the title in the game. Yeah. So that's that. Um, if he was playing plus one, maybe I'd be more, be more free, but 3.5 axis, Mermail just shits on that. So, yeah, um, maybe I could have done more with that opening hand. If I had Abyss Osha, then yeah, I could have gone Bahamut, Trite, Engineer, but I'm not playing Osha, so I ended with the term of Bahamut. I thought that was okay. Probably should have summoned the defense out of fear of Arcanite. Uh, disappointed that he had the Gyoku down, otherwise I would have been like, no, pop your shit, get a free special summon. Eh, it worked out though. So, it's kind of disappointing that all the good duels I have on here are the ones that are more than 15 minutes. Actually, that's probably not a bad thing. But still, I had a really good fight against a Nolan Knight player. Unfortunately, it was over. What the heck? Psychics? A mirror force. I read that as a giant pop me, please. Pop me. And I'm going to get a goon with that. Now, I'm thinking that's a Silent Psychic Wizard or whatever the hell that thing is, so I'm just going to go straight into Dweller.
and go straight into battle phase. Knew it. So we'll set the sphere. And see how, go, how it goes from there. So there's the Silent Psychic Blizzard. I uh, will let that go through. Emergency teleport. Okay. He's probably going to a black rose. Which I have to warning. And the main phase, yep. Because I'm gonna do the turret play. So we'll get a Abyss Turge. No, we'll get Abyss Pike actually. Because I need another Marksman or an act in action to do that. And then Goon will get back the other Pike. Aw, I drew the Dragoons! I didn't want to do that! But... Okay. I guess I'll just summon it, actually. What the hell does he have in his hand? Yeah, I'll just chain this. Enter a battle phase. Attack for a whole bunch. And then we're just gonna go into a Bahamut shark. And plus, so much plus. Get the Megalo. And that's that. Armils play a lot like Psychics, actually. Yeah. Wiz Lindy is your wizard. And you got stuff that sets up the Lindanes with Pike. Your e Telly is Abyss Sphere. And your big psychic monsters are Megalo, Lead, and Gaios. But, yeah. Hmm. Not really much else to say. He got the mirror for us, which I think was a terrible idea. I would have... I don't know. Like, grabbing the mirror for us and then setting it, obviously, was just... Yeah, just allowed me to go a just completely ape shit with these guys. Back again with some mermel action, as I'm still trying to figure out how I want to work around with this deck. I have a fairly good idea of what I want to do with it, especially after looking over the decks that topped Berlin. A lot of them definitely ran similarly to Homan's build from Atlanta and Charlotte, but there were some differences, and I'm going to try them out. And this is a really weird, 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 really weird hand. Double Pike. That's... Yeah, this is a really weak hand, but it does get me double reckless.
So we're just going to pass it back. And one of the cards you can see here is Break Your Skill. This one I fully admit is noticing from the top list. So I'm like, why would you run Break Your Skill over Venus Chain at first? And then I managed to hear some explanations for the card. And it made sense. The idea being that Forbidden Lance is a thing and oh my god, did I just really get triple reckless? I'm going to set that. But anyway, the idea being that Venus Chain, while it is the better card, MST and more importantly Lance are things in the most relevant matchup for this deck, plus one. And if you Venus Chain the bear and they Lance, then it's really unfortunate what happens. Whereas if you break the skill, you can at least use that break the skill in order to turn off the Abyss Dweller or the Exciton Knight that they make. Okay, so let's see what happens here. We will use his effect. He's got nothing down there. Hmm. Well, no, just gonna get a marksman. And we'll see what some of these guys are. Crystal Beasts. What is this video? When a person plays one Crystal Beast Monster Green deck in the oh. So I'm up against Crystal Beasts. A deck that people just seem to love but will never, ever, ever be good unless Konami really does something about it. But they haven't done something about it forever. Anyway, so I explained Break Your Skill and how it can basically be used to shut off Dweller, Knight, Shark Knight and whatnot, and then there's the issue of MST and Lance. Really? You're not gonna at least let me finish talking while you're going on, but you're playing Crystal Beasts, and I'm sorry people, but Crystal Beasts are just, they're not good. Crystal Beast 6 Samurai Alien Dot Deck will never ever be good, especially when you throw all three of them together. Uh, samurai don't have gateway, and 90% of the players are bad, aliens are awful, and crystal beasts have never been good to begin with. But, yeah, at least that's my reasoning for breakthrough skill. And then as far as MSC and Lance go, maybe I'll explain it in another video. Both have their merits. I'll see how both work out.